Thank you very much. I'm not really a huge racing game guy in general, so I hope it means something when I tell you that one of my five favorite video games of all time is a game called Driver San Francisco. Released by Ubisoft back in 2011 and part of the long-running Driver franchise, Driver San Francisco is the type of game that you could easily walk past at a store, take one glance at the cover, and think is just another racing title. And that kind of reaction would be understandable, but it would also be wrong, because this game is one of the weirdest video games anybody has ever made, which I suspect is one of the main reasons since I've been so obsessed with this game since it initially released. First, the premise. Driver San Francisco begins as sort of this normal racing action game where you're a cop named John Tanner, the same cop as in all the other Driver games, and it's the very first mission where things immediately begin to go off the rails. The end of that mission sees Tanner, your protagonist, getting in a disastrous car accident that leaves him suspended in a deep coma. Now I feel like this is- Ah, uh, sorry, this graphics is way too good. I played the one on PlayStation 1. Not this Sumer crap. Whatever that was. The point where any other video game story would time skip forward a few months or years to the protagonist waking up from the coma and sort of scrambling to put together the pieces of what went down, but that's not what Driver San Francisco does. Instead, Tanner and- Yeah, 2011 is fucking Zoomer, dude. And you, as the player, spend the entire rest of the game inside of that coma. Also- <laughs> Anything after 2000, man. He doesn't know he's in a coma, but you do. Also, the entire game takes place inside of his head within that coma, and also, and this is the best part, in the coma world where the game is taking place, Tanner has this sort of superpower to leave his body and instantly take over the body of anybody else driving a car anywhere in San Francisco. I know that's a lot, but bear with me. <laughs> this ability is called Shift, and it sits at the core of what makes Driver San Francisco such a special game. By tapping the A button, you immediately snap into this overhead view of the city, and by tapping that button again, you pop right into any vehicle you can see. So instantly, in the blink of an eye, with no load times, you're in control of that vehicle. It all feels ridiculously snappy, which is great, because if you're playing this game properly, you will end up using this feature a ton. Now, the shift mechanic has some really wild gameplay and story ramifications, but I think the craziest thing about it is that it just completely flawlessly works. The game is also extremely generous about letting you use this power too. Aside from enemies like opponents in a street race or cops during a car chase, you can jump into literally any car at any time, and your use of the power is unlimited, so there's really no meter or anything else governing your ability to use it. If you're having trouble wrapping your head around this concept, I, the best thing I've come up with to describe it, and I hate myself for saying this, but the best way to describe it is Super Cario Odyssey. That's basically what this game is. This is Super Cario Odyssey. Now the developer Reflections, now known as Ubisoft Reflections, gave you a ton of freedom in this game, and it opens up a lot of really interesting Pretty gameplay sure possibilities. You watch this? So for instance, you know what? I let's say you're in the middle of a police feeling. chase and you're on the run from the cops. In Driver San Francisco, right there, you when can you shift into a civilian car that's exactly heading then. in the opposite direction in the this oncoming lane, like and then slow that ago, car into a head-on collision. This. And that's just one of countless options at your disposal. It's actually kind of stunning how much of a gameplay difference it makes to be able to instantaneously control other NPCs in a race. Oh, I watched the second person video oh yes that's why it's so familiar is this for, is it from the same guy or is it because he said the best way i can explain this is that is one line it's an addiction as soon as i shake him i want to do it all over again now, if I could only pick one example of what makes this mechanic so special, I would have to point to one YouTube video in particular. It's a video called A Clever Trick in Driver San Francisco, and it's one of the very first videos I ever uploaded to YouTube a whopping eight years ago. Here's the summary. I'm in a dirt buggy race, and after taking a bad turn, I managed to screw up and accidentally flip my car all the way over. So the opponent racers in this race all zoom past me, so I quickly hop out of my body and use the shift mechanic to zoom over to a nearby highway that intersects with a racetrack, looking for some sort of vehicle to help me out. Uh, it's at that point that I spot this enormous city bus and then veer that bus off the road, making sure to leave a tiny opening, just a tiny slit to drive my car through. I then switch back into my buggy and then watch in awe as every single one of the enemy AI racers smash into the side of the bus I had parked, and then I just sort of perfectly slide through that opening, which instantly takes me from last place to first place and ultimately wins me the entire race. Now, I remember this very clearly. It was an insanely gratifying moment, one that I never could have achieved in any other racing game, and it's one that perfectly demonstrates the incredible emergent gameplay possibilities of the shift mechanic. 
Very There's impressive so mechanic. Uh, I was watching 30 minutes of you explaining a mechanic. We get it. Eduardo Carithion Osterdain. Thank you, boys. Welcome back. Kaiser Bowl. Muchas gracias. Previously on Jovakin. Hey, hold the timer. You're going to be bunking with me tonight. He's the one, officers. He's the Thanmore spy. You're under arrest, Johnny Thirdly. You become a College of Winterhold student. The mages will...